9-11, I was actually in college. I was home that morning. My dad worked in the North Tower of the World Trade Center. On that particular day, he uh, was in one of the cafeterias on one of the floors in the 40s. He was in that cafeteria because he really enjoyed how one of the young ladies there made his oatmeal. He said when the plane actually hit the building, he felt the building sway from left to right. In the cafeteria, there was kind of that moment of panic of not knowing what was going on. I do remember him saying going through the stairwell was probably one of the hardest parts, something that could have taken 15 to 20 minutes. It took him a little over an hour to get down the stairs. It was around the, the 20th floor. That is when the firefighters, they started walking up those stairs. But as the firefighters were coming up, they had to do a single file, which slowed them down as well. He had a sense of nervousness saying, are they going to make it out the building? I think from his perspective, he would have never ever thought that the building was actually going to come down. But there was that sense of, are they gonna make it out alive? When he exited the building, he said the scenes that he saw was just so horrific. You can only imagine the noises and the screams and you walk out to what seems like a war. I will never forget even just to tell a little bit of my mom's story. The planes hit the building. She worked at one police plaza. You know, obviously all of the units were called to the World Trade Center. And I remember her saying that she went running in the direction of the World Trade Center. She just kept saying, my husband is there. My husband is there. And she went running in the direction of the World Trade Center. This was before the building had collapsed. All she could remember is someone grabbing her hand and saying, ma'am, we have to run, we have to go. And she just kept saying, my husband works in that building. And he said, we have to run. And he held her hand and they ran and he helped my mother get to where she needed to go far away from the building. And had that not have happened, my mother, knowing my mother and who she is, would have tried to go in the building to go and get my father. My mom, did make it home, you know, thankfully it was hours later. I mean, she couldn't even speak. She couldn't speak. It was so traumatizing. It wasn't even something that you could put into words. Probably around three or four o'clock in the morning while we have people just sitting around the house with us and praying and comforting us, we heard these footsteps come up the stairs. And it was my dad. Um, we were so thankful. You just didn't know what the outcome was gonna be and you already start settling in your mind. If he's not here, how are we going to make it through? And my father came up the stairs, he came in the house and again, he was full of just all of that soot all over him. And as soon as he walked in the door, he just, fell down on his knees and he was crying. We feel like God brought him through. It was a miracle, you know, it was our miracle.